In this video, I want to show you three signs that you can follow step by step in order to execute your trades. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Esther Mofri. So the first thing that you need to do is open your chart. These signs, they happen in any pair that you want or you, you would want to trade. So any pair, these signs happen every time. So we are on four hour time frame. When you open your pair, when you open any chart on trading view, this is what you get. The first sign, the first sign, and I, I, will, I will write it down, is to identify the zone that you are in. So for instance, I know this is a downtrend. Why? Because it is creating low highs and low lows. That is for sure I know. So the first zone is there. So that's my first zone. And then I want to identify the second zone. The second zone is where the market price was broken. So for me, this is where the market price was broken. This is where the market price was broken. But where have uh, where is the other zone? My other zone is where the buyers have tried to take this market before we got this big drop. You see this big drop? Where did the buyers take this market? So that's my third zone. So the first sign you want to see, you want to see, uh, you want to see in the market that has zones because of course you're not here to trade naked charts. Naked charts is when you have not identified anything. So identify your zones and your zones should be as clear as like that. And I've told you guys, my last zone, it's not a zone really but it's where the market has reached so i don't know if the, i can call it this a zone if the market will continue dropping and dropping this is not a zone i want my market to maybe play on this area to become a zone so whenever for you to call a place a zone the market must must uh touch must uh touch that place multiple times like here one two three and eventually it breaks so this become a zone on here this resistance the zone here it has touched one two three and it, be, it has become a zone even when you go back it it was almost touching this area so that place become automatically a very good zone so there are people who ask me on my videos how do you know the market will go all the way if you are doing a live trading let me tell you guys, if this market start moving upward, this is my first take profit. This is my second take profit. And if it continues going up, the, the third zone is this one. So the market has a clue. The market has a clue where the price would go and all these are zones. So let me just create for you guys. All these are zones in the market. So market cannot just come and this is our, this should be our last zone in that market. And if the market hits this zone, it will come down. It's not a must, it hits this zone. But some guys ask me, how did you know the market? It will go all the way. Now I'm answering that question. The minute you identify zones in your market, it's very easy. So we'll do the play mode. Let's do the play mode and see what happens so that's the first candle and then the market you can see what has happened the market has broken this we cannot even say it has broken so i'll just push the market down because i have i don't have a zone yet so i will just push the market and my zone will be the let me show you how you put a zone the last line will be the week and the next one will be the body. So as long as this is now my zone. So my concentration is this area. And you can see the cell was coming down and we have this buy momentum candle. All we want to see if the zone will be created. So what do we do? We want to create a very small zone where the buyers has reached. Because you can see the big bullish momentum and then all of a sudden sellers are coming in so what is happening can this be a small zone so those are the signs that you want in the market so those two signs so those are my two signs so let me put this uh back to the original color like that so i want to see if that is my zone i want to see if that's my zone so let's play it and see 
So all we want to see is what is happening. All we want to see is what is happening. So the minute the market approaches, you can see the minute the market approaches with this uh, long week, what you do, you extend the box. You extend the box to that, to where that long week is. The minute you have identified the zone, you want the zone to get tested multiple times. What do I mean? I want this zone to test this once and this is once. So the market to maybe come down, test again. So if it has tested two times, it becomes my zone. So my first sign, I've told you guys, I want this area to be an area of interest. If that doesn't happen, I'm not interested with that market. So let's see, guys, what happens. So uh, let's see what happens. So immediately after the big momentum, you can see what has happened. Why did we have a big momentum candle followed by a very bearish candle? Those are some of the questions you need to ask yourself. Because everyone who bought this market... Everyone who bought here because of this momentum candle, already they are negative. And the reason is everyone thought the zone is up to there. So they could have said it has broken. Where the zone ends at the, the last week. If you can see this red candle where the week is, now you go, you go adjusting. That's where our zone is. And the blue candle is still inside our zone. So we were not even interested. It was not broken. So this zone has been tested twice. So that is the first sign. So we have a zone there. Already we have a place uh, of interest. Buyers have tried twice, a uh, first time. And then the second time they have been rejected. So already our first sign, we have it. The second thing you need to check, guys, if, if the zone is broken. So we want the breakage of structure. We want this zone area, this channel, to get broken. So if this area is broken, that's our second sign. Still, we don't have an entry. The second sign, if we want it to be broken. If this area is broken, we, have, we, ha we now go to our third entry. And our third entry, we will just monitor... Uh, uh, that sign, I'll show you guys what you want. So our second sign, we want it to be broken. And it can be broken in either way. I'm not biased. It can be broken in upward trend. And it can either be broken on the downside. So like, we don't, at this moment, we just, we, we are praying and hoping the the place that the market will break, that's where we will get in. So we are not like, we are not even wishing the market to break on the upper side or the downside. At this moment, we just want the sign to happen. The second sign we want, we want, the second sign, we just want the market to break this channel. So let's play and see. So the market, uh, and then the other thing, don't do anything inside the box so that you can't be trapped. If you try to sell now, you can be trapped because the market can come here, bounce, and get goes back on the, on the, on the, on this resistance or on the, on this resistance, and you'll be at negative. So we are not doing anything inside the zone of the channel. So unless it breaks, unless it breaks, so the market has gone down. Uh, that's what has happened. You see, the market has touched. You see, it has touched. So this is a clear zone. It has touched one. It has touched twice. Here it has touched once, two, three. So already the first sign we have it. So all we need to do is to be patient. We need to be patient with this market. Let me just delete. Delete this. Now let's be patient and see what happens. So we are patient to see what happens. And you see what happening inside the, the, the inside the channel. The momentum is so huge to trap buyers. But I, if at all we have not broken this, we are not interested. So let's see what happens. So the market is trying. The market is trying to break this zone. Let's see. Let's see if it will break. So in this time, our zone is here. We didn't adjust. Guys, I told you we adjust. Whenever the weeks are left, you adjust that zone. You see. 
we adjust that zone because you'll you will you will prevent yourself from getting fake out because all of this is a zone when you are uh, uh, when you're operating with zones you don't operate like a single line if you put a single line here already you would have bought and you would have lost so let's continue and see so immediately you had adjusted this long week you see when the market was here this blue would have lied to you that the market was a strong uh, it has broken the zone and the market had not if you had adjusted so always adjust 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 so in this case we can adjust to here but i want us to see what will happen i want us to see what happens we can even adjust and say if we are comfortable we are comfortable buying this market if it breaks even the the bigger week so that's what we'll do actually we will adjust our box to that let me uh reduce the opacity so we have adjusted and that's what we have so we are not interested if still the market is playing on our zone on this resistance side so let's play and see what happens so the market is still going down. So let's see what happens. And then there's that big candle. We are not interested with that big candle until the market breaks. And this time, the other sign, we want a very big momentum candle. The that sign, not only we want it to break, but it breaks with a very big momentum candle. So let's see what happens. So you can see whenever we adjusted the the zone we won't be cheated by the market the market has really has really uh played on this zone it's because it's a very strong zone so we are not even like we, we are not interested if it has not broken we are not interested so let's continue and see so the big momentum candle i told you guys what i told you if the market will break it will come to this zone if the market will break, it will come to this zone. With this momentum candle, already we know what is happening. Uh, what we do, we want, we, we, we are now, we have now been confirmed that this market is a buy. We are now, we now know that this market is a buy. Even if we enter buy here, we, we can target up to any zone that we want here. Whenever you see something like that in the market, this is your entry candle because of what the market, the sellers tried to come down. They were unable and now we can enter and target this zone. So that's how you do it, guys. That's how you do it. So we will tag, we will enter there and our stop loss will be just, just at that week, the end of that week there. And then our target will be that zone so we will our first target we'll have we'll have how many tp we'll have two t take profit we'll have or we, we we can target how many we can target up to there and then we have different take profit we have the the purple one and this one you can make green so you have different and the yellow all these are different take profit and then our stop loss it can be no we don't want our stop loss to be that big so our stop loss can be that area so let's see guys what happens take profit one is hit and then the market is coming down let's see if it will um it will approach take profit too profit two is hit we are remaining with this profit and this is the zone that we are we are thinking the market can 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 come to so let's see if eventually the market came to that zone.
So guys, that is it. That's how you can trade with the three simple signs. Three simple signs of identifying a zone. After you identify a zone, wait for break out of that zone. And then the third sign is how did this, the breakout happen? If the breakout happens with a very big momentum candle, just know that market is about to move. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.